Hi YouTubers. Right, I thought I'd do another live stream today. And today's video is going to be about what sewing machine should I buy? Now, I get asked this question a lot. And when I say a lot, it, it's like all the time. What sewing machine should I buy? So I thought, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a live stream and tell you about how I went about choosing a sewing machine right at the very, very beginning. I mean, you know, decades ago. So what I did is um, when I first started sewing, I actually uh, sewed everything by hand. And when I say by hand, I didn't use a sewing machine at all. And I actually made about seven suits by hand, believe it or not. Um, and then it wasn't up until uh, my mum's friend came by and they noticed that I was doing all this sewing by hand. And they said, why aren't you using a sewing machine, Michael? And I was like, well, I don't know. I've, 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 I didn't really know what sewing machines to buy. So what they did is they brought me the sewing machine and it was like a mechanical one. Now a mechanical one is not computerized. It's electronic, but it's not computerized. So you can't like, you know, press the buttons and it will just take you to a straight stitch and then press another button and it takes you to a zigzag stitch. Um, it was a mechanical sewing machine, so it was still electric, but it was very, very basic. If you wanted to change the stitch from a straight stitch to a zigzag, you had to actually do that uh, by hand, mechanical. So I started using this sewing machine, uh, and that's how I started. Um, but when I'm going to give advice to others about what sewing machine you should use, you know, you need to go with the sewing machine that you feel most comfortable with. So what I would urge you to do is go to your nearest sewing machine dealer and go in there and choose three or four sewing machines that really take your fancy. You know, the ones that catch your eye. And it doesn't need to be the most expensive in the shop. It can be the cheapest machine in the shop. It's what takes your fancy. And then, because of course, when you're in a sewing machine shop, you know, they are there to sell you a sewing machine. So they will be very obliged and you can use all of these sewing machines that you like. So for instance, you have seen these sewing machines and you would say, right, I'd like to demonstrate them. I'd like to just have a go at these sewing machines and they will bring them off the shelf and they would get them down and they would show you. And you would then get a real feel for, for the machine itself. You know, you, and you, you would, you just get the feel and you might use, you might like the one that you didn't originally see. You might think that one works a lot more better for you than what you originally thought. So you would then whittle your choice down to the ones that you really like. There might be two then machines out of the four that you like originally that you really like the feel of. So then what you need to look at then is your stitch quality and the amount of accessories that the machine can take. Because if you really, really decide to get into sewing, um, you know, you want to be able to do different things with this machine. So you want to know what kind of feet with the, sh the machine and what accessories the machine can take. Now, I personally like Bernina sewing machines and the range of feet that come that, that you can buy with a Bernina is incredible. I think there's something like 130 different feet, 120, 130 different feet. And the amount of options that that gives you is absolutely incredible so that's what you need to look for you need to look for your stitch quality so when you're stitching have a look to see how the stitching looks on the underside of the cloth together with of course the top side because it might look fantastic on the top but then when you turn the cloth over the stitch quality is really not that brilliant so you need to also look for a very very good stitch quality um, and 
you will then know because if you've got the stitch quality that you like um, and also as well the different feet and accessories that you can get with it um, for instance a walking foot I absolutely love the walking foot and it's it's a foot that really really controls your stitching and it creates a fantastic stitch it looks great not only on the top but also on the bottom so if you can get a sewing machine that can also take a walking foot now there's there's no sewing machines that actually come with a walking foot this is a presser foot that you would have to buy separately um so you might make a really good deal with the, the sewing machine dealer and uh get this walking foot with it but i find that the walking foot is a fantastic foot uh it really is uh and it it just creates great stitch quality um that's what i find so you know you don't don't go with what people say oh I, I think you should get this machine or i think you should get that machine no 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 you don't do that you have to go for the sewing machine that you feel most comfortable with and like i say it doesn't need to be the most expensive sewing machine in the shop you know you can get sewing machines that cost 60 pounds or 80 pounds uh, and that would be in dollars something like I don't know an 80 pound would be something like 110 dollars 120 dollars something like that in US dollars um, but you can also get sewing machines which are the highest end uh, computerized and embroidery machines costing tens of thousands you know I mean there's there's sewing machines on the market that can cost 10,000 pound which is which is about you know about ten ten and a half ten thousand six hundred dollars something like that huge amounts uh, and these have the it, it's the amount of functions that it can actually do and it, it doesn't actually necessarily mean it's the best quality you know you can get a machine there that costs a couple of hundred pound and it would have a better stitch quality than a machine that costs say two or three thousand pound all you're paying for is the the amount of stitches it can do and you might be able to add um, an embroidery machine onto that um, don't think that a sewing machine that costs thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds is much much better than a machine that costs a couple of hundred because that may not be the case um, but you need to go with the machine that you feel most comfortable with because at the end of the day you're the one that's going to be using the sewing machine and you're going to be using this for years and years and years if you really really get into sewing uh, and really love it so that is the best advice that I can give now I have a website called thesewingguru.com and of course I give a lot of advice and a lot of tips on there which you know cover everything that you're going to need including how to go about getting a sewing machine and how to choose a sewing machine with the beginners course and there's also a sewing machine course on that now if i just take this and click there there you go there's that's the website now of course the uh the link to a free trial membership is in the description of this video below so when i finish the live stream you can find the free membership below uh, and like I say it is 100% free it doesn't cost any money um, now when you register for your free membership please always check your junk folder because the email can drop into the junk folder it's a bit of a nightmare but that can happen so you just go to your junk folder and if you don't like I say if you don't see your login details that have been sent to you in your inbox they will most likely be in your junk folder so have a look in there and then you'll be able to just log in and uh, just trial site um, and have a look see what you think but uh, yeah there's a free membership going but that's the best advice that I can give for how to go about choosing a sewing machine so good luck guys with that um, hope you've enjoyed the video um, I've got a comment a few comments here oh thank you thank you uh, yeah you're very very welcome um, I'm glad that you that you're watching this live stream you're really welcome uh, but you know like I said this is a question that I've been asked so many times it's it's unreal you know people are like stuck and when you are wanting to learn to sew and it's something brand new to you and you really don't know where to go people ask me this you know what's the best sewing machine well like I say it's the one that you feel most comfortable with and the one that you like the look of 
Sigourty, Needless Dealer, and Trial, three or four sewing machines, and choose the one that you like. Now, don't be pressured either, because it's, it's a big purchase, and you want to get it right. So don't be pressured, and just, just choose the machine that you feel most comfortable with, and you'll be fine with that. You really will. So good luck with that, and remember, happy sewing. Bye for now.